Um, I'm running around 12 to 15 pounds with my regulator, okay? And this is around 3,800 degrees. Copper melts at around 1,920 degrees. So we can destroy copper with this. Now, if we're brazing, we want to get the temperature up to cherry red. But with new copper and using Stabrite, I only have to get it up to this melt at, do you remember what this melts at? 430, and it's completely fluid at 535. Okay, how's your memory? You take fish oil? Yep, okay. omega-3, yes. This guy's a health nut, Drew. <laughs> Gotta take omega-3 when you get old. I take it. <laughs> So we can put a little alloy on there. And now we we heat the copper tubing first because there's an air gap between the tubing and the fitting. And now just darken it a little bit. Did that come around nice? I may have waited too long, but let me try. Voila, gentlemen. Did I fill the cup? Yes, you did. Perfect. My cup runneth over. So, interesting. This joint made with tin silver, we call it Stabrite. It's a unique product. This particular joint will stand more hydraulic pressure than the Silfos joint you might make using oxyacetylene and at an alloy that melts between 1190 and 1500 degrees. That's the range of Silfos or Dynaflow or Stay Sil 15. Now, why is that? There's another thing, and I'm throwing a bunch of definitions at you, but it's necessary. They're in here, right? They're in there, most of them. Or you call Admore and get me my phone number from Admore, and I will be your consultant at a very modest fee. Okay. You never want to chill the joint, you don't want to squirt water on it too soon or you will shock it and it will develop hairline cracks. Okay, so now